Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and this is your tarot reading for Scorpios for June. And first of all, I would like to thank everyone for the like, for subscribing, for putting uh, comments. I appreciate it, this guys a lot. And I hope you're gonna have a great reading. Let's see the first card for you. <clears throat> Page of Cups. Uh, Page of Cups uh, could be a pleasant, nice news, uh, something that will make you happy. Uh, also, it might be uh, maybe your children. If you have children, if you don't have children, uh, then uh, children in around you might bring you nice news or give you a small, small gift, small gesture, small, uh, small surprise. Uh, if you have children, then they they might um, bring you a nice surprise, and um, you're gonna be very happy about it. <coughs> Let's see what else. Three of Wands. Uh, three of Wands. Um, this, this card will say that you made a decision. Mm, you made a decision, maybe go study. Uh, or you maybe made the decision, uh, you made the plan. You know what direction you're going to take. Uh, you're very sure about it, uh, clear, and you are ready to go. Uh, here, maybe you want to... Uh, learn more, maybe go on the courses or join the, get a higher uh, qualification. But this card will say that you know, you know what's your target and you know how to get there and you already prepared and ready to go. You already um, uh, start your journey. You want growth, you want professional growth. Or maybe um, relationship grow, but here you are full of confidence because you know what you know. You know what you want. You know how to get that, and here you have no fear. Great start, guys. Let's see what else. Three of Pentacles. Uh, this card will say that money-wise and health-wise, resources, you're going to be feeling great. Uh, here, this card doesn't say that you're going to be like mega rich, but you're going to be feeling all right. Uh, also, this is a great card for uh, work, job-wise. Uh, so maybe you will decide to go and get study. Um, to get a higher qualification or work will send you to, for some extra courses for some uh, ex to get some extra knowledge to get some extra experience and so you will be able to step up the ladder you see the person is getting step higher um, and even or maybe you will be um, teaching your colleagues or people around you sharing your knowledge um, so yes here you're going to be uh, sharing your experience with possibly with other people especially if you're getting a higher position higher qualification or he or you might be in charge of these people but you're not going to be alone so or maybe here if you look at the <clears throat> all three of these cards uh, so this is might be a, a great news, great feeling that you know what you want and you know how to get there. And you will have all the all the opportunities for it. <clears throat> Let's see what else. The moon. High rank card. And this card will for some people, possibly uh, might indicate pregnancy, uh, but also Moon will say that mm, 
something around you um, is unclear. You you not sure you uh, don't know exactly what's happening around you. You are a bit like uh, walking through the fog in your life, or it's like you have uh, cloudy cloudy mind. You don't see clarity what's happening around you. So uh, be careful. Something you don't see. So we'll. I will ask. What don't you see? What don't you see? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a beautiful card. And if we have any questions, what don't you see? Maybe you don't see this new chance. You might have uh, some chance coming your way. Some new opportunity. Maybe it's new work opportunity. New job opportunity. But maybe you don't see it or not even looking. Um, but this card is of new beginning, of new opportunity. Um, they not. This card is not given us very often and not staying with us for too long. So... Uh, make sure you see it and grab it when when it's around, uh, because it's move on. Someone else will will take it. This is a card of abundance in all aspects of your life, um, love, uh, happiness, uh, overwhelming. This is the universe showing all her love towards you, and you are ready to receive it. This is. Uh, uh, creativity for art uh, people, um, emotions, uh, emotions over overflowing uh, of hope of happiness. So also could be um, uh, pregnancy. So great start, guys. Let's see what else. Another high rank card, Wheel of Fortune. Look how beautiful it is. Uh, so, yes, uh, you might have opportunity to move on to the next cycle of your life. To approach something new in your life. Uh, one cycle is over and a new one is about to begin. This is your card of your de destiny. This is card of uh, this is karmical card. Um, this is card of uh, relocation, maybe um, moving, moving countries, moving house, uh, going traveling, everything that is um, associated with the movement. Uh, so, like I said, it's like a new cycle of your life uh, wow so very nice so far let's see what else a page of cups and look the card repeat yourself like i show you what they look like in different decks this is classical this is a bit more modern uh same meaning very quite similar but again you might receive some small small gift uh, you might uh, receive very nice pleasant news uh, something that will make you put smile on your face something that will make you happy a very warm feeling like i said if not uh, about you then your children might might let you know about something, something nice. Um, a hermit, another high rank card. Uh, here you would like to maybe take some time to yourself, some time alone, and approach uh, to your soul, uh, to your higher self. And here you might will be questioning yourself. What's my purpose? Why am I here? Um, what is purpose of life? 
you know, all of these very deep personal questions which only you um, can have an answer to or your soul. So you're going to be taking time alone to reflect on this. Um, if not, um, here you might look for for the spiritual guru, for the uh, teacher, um, for some person who can help you and guide you towards to gain these answers if you um, unable to do it uh, this on your on your own. So you will, or maybe through the books, you will find these answers or the way forward or where you need to go. Because here you see we uh, have candle, you have you have uh, all Latin or the light. Usually, um, you looking, you searching for these answers, you searching for uh, for these meanings, deep, very deep meanings. Um, a small advice, guys, as usual, uh, it will be always helpful to start maybe to do meditation or or yoga or both. Uh, five, ten minutes a day, that will, might do the difference. Right, let's see what else. Ooh, wait those words. Uh, it is what looks like you uh, really decided to take a time alone and isolate yourself from everyone, uh, from the society and everything. And for you, Scorpius, you, I would um, not advise to do this. Or if you, of course, we all feel down from time to time, but uh, make yourself a limit on days, maybe hours, uh, and then pick yourself up because the longer you isolating yourself the longer you close closing up yourself from the world the harder for is for you to get out to is more painful um getting into a deeper depression and um worst of all for you guys you are very intuitive people um very kind I said the worst, uh, but it's, this is not the worst. But the worst part is because all of these great qualities that you have, you punish yourself and you stink yourself and you suffer yourself from, from it. Um, you don't uh, value yourself uh, of your true value that, that you are as a great person as you are. So here, for some reason, uh, you decided, like I said, isolate yourself, hide. Uh, you don't want to see what's happening around you. You don't want to deal with it. You hoping that it will all pass and it will all go away and you don't have to be involved. The harsh reality is that um, that's not going to be uh, the case. Because you're gonna have to, you like it or not, you have to deal deal with situations in your life. And the sooner the better. Uh, so less you have to hide and be in some sort of a fear and didn't believe. Uh, you know, you deal with it and you move on. And here... You put yourself in this position, in this depression, and this feeling down, closed up, and only you can undo it. Only you can untidy this, because nobody's holding you. You put those words around you yourself, so you cannot move. You pretend that somebody did, but not as actually you. So, guys, it's all in your hands, literally. <laughs> Let's see what else. Uh, the Hierophant. Uh, another high rank card, oh, guys, is going to be quite important a month for you. I can feel it. So many uh, high rank cards uh, uh, that uh, show the significance of that month and uh, situations that might 
be around at that time. So the year of this card of knowledge, um, traditions, uh, maybe christening or marriage. And uh, also signing some important uh, paperwork documents, um, some uh, contracts. And also possibly maybe you're just gonna go uh, to the church or you join or you will join the church or here maybe you will be following some spiritual guru, some leader, um, a priest or someone maybe older, wiser, with more knowledge or just a person that you highly respected in your eyes. And you might go ask for the advice and the blessing. Here you go. Let's see what else. So maybe you're gonna feel like you are a little bit lost and you're gonna ask for the advice. And the Wheel of Fortune again. Yes, guys, something really, uh, look, card repeats herself really want to let you know uh, that something is about to change in your life and maybe that's why you maybe maybe you're not prepared for it maybe it's all happening too fast for you <coughs> and you trying to stretch the time and um, and pause it but looks like uh, here a uh, change is inevitable you can't um, escape your destiny okay guys let's see what else <clears throat> four of swords four of swords cars say that you need to uh, calm down you need to pause uh, take a breath, so whatever happens in your life, new changes, new beginning, new cycle of your life, take a break, deep breath, pause it, and have a chance to reflect on all that, that happening, uh, to uh, go back to yourself and um, maybe make a plan for the future. Reflect your past. Maybe take some lessons and make plans for the future. Um, or maybe this is here you're just going to go um, for the day to the spa. Spend the day relaxing over there. I wish you that. Uh, because if you here not going <clears> to <throat> take care of yourself, that universe will take care of it. Make sure you're resting. Uh, so you don't want to pay with your health. You don't want to end up in hospital. So, yeah, better uh, enjoy your day in the spa. Let's see what angels will suggest for you guys. <clears throat> the message is, see only love. Let's see. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Great message, guys. Like I said, you are the first person who suffer from yourself. Uh, so... See only love and especially in yourself. Start with you. Alright guys, let's ask the fairies for the advice or message. What did they want to say to you? <clears throat> Look at this beautiful card. Magical blessings. Whatever you are going through, you are being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Oh, guys, this is so beautiful. Beautiful message for you. <laughs> great. Alright, guys, I, I hope you're going to have a great June. 
I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you all the best. You can overcome everything, you know, you're stronger than, than you think. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave any comments, uh, have a look at my website and I wish you all the best. See you soon. Bye.